Hey everyone, welcome back. So with the um, the game I just recently signed, Paladin Dream, with Hither Young Games, I'll leave a link uh, down below if you uh, could be so kind and and go over and uh, throw the game a wish list. It's free for you. There's no obligation to buy, but it really helps out with the Steam algorithm, uh, and it means a lot to the to myself and the developer. So if you could please do that, link in the description. So when I was setting um, setting up the the game page one thing i like to do is always put in a google analytic code because while steam gives you some very good analytics it doesn't give you the complete picture um you know there's some things left out like gender and age and uh behaviors that steam doesn't um that steam steam analytics don't give you but with google analytics you can get that kind of information and kind of merge the two together and you can kind of get a bigger picture of uh, who's coming to your page, why, how long, um, and you can use this stuff for, you know, targeting, advertising, uh, you know, making up, coming up with your customer avatar, things like this. So when I went to go um, put in the Google Analytics, um, I realized that uh, they had changed it. Uh, I believe it was late last year or early this year, they changed it to something called Analytics 4 instead of uh, Universal Analytics, a UA code. So if we go to Edit Page, and we go to Special Settings, um, this is what Steam allows right now. But um, the new version, when you, go, when you go and try and make this tracker code, it defaults to Analytics 4. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys how to kind of work around that. And we'll do a test account and, and I'll show you. It's, it's pretty simple, but it's kind of buried. So, because uh, Steam does not support the new format uh, from Google, Google Analytics. So, you know, this is a UA dash and the new one from Google is a G dash. And this Analytics 4, the new one, gives you more data points, but it's mostly centered around apps. Uh, I could be wrong there. So if um, you have more information on that, that you know, I couldn't really find based on my research, uh, you know, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know. So if you go to the analytics page, we'll create a test account, and I'll show you what what how to get around that. So let's just create a new account. Um, we'll just call this test. Hit next. Uh, property name. We'll call it test page one doesn't really matter uh, so here's where you have to pay attention so you have to hit if you don't do this you'll get the new code which won't work on steam so you have to click show advanced option and you have to click this on and that's it um, then you'll get the ua code so you know we'll put in uh, palette and dream we'll put it in there and that's it you hit next um, and then you know you can select all these to whatever you want uh, you know let's pick uh, gaming one we want to measure customer interactions with the site that's the primary important one the, the most important one but you might want to optimize for advertising cost increase my conversion you know you can select these at will and then you create it uh, yes Accept and you get your tracking code. And then you just copy this and you paste it into your Steam page special settings here. And don't forget to save and then publish. And you should be all good to go. So what I'll do is, uh, if you don't have a Google uh, Analytic account, I'll leave a link in the description where you can set it up and also a link to the Steam uh, documentation. And uh, I'll leave a link to uh, Paladin Dream if you can just go over there and wishlist it. I would really, really appreciate that. I hope this was super helpful for you. If it was, um, you know, hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.